guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I have last vlog. I have so many updates, so many house updates. We were supposed to receive our couch yesterday. Well, we did it. So let me update you guys on everything that's happened this past week. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that my in-laws were in town um, the past week. So we were spending time with them and we were also in quarantine the first two weeks that we got to Missouri. We didn't have a car even once we got out of quarantine. So once they got here, we were able to finally leave the house. Steven and I actually bought a new car. I say new, but it's a, it's a used new car. It's new to us, but it's used. Anyways, um, I'll show you guys that once he gets home because he took it to work, but we got a new car over the weekend. We were just hanging out with family. It had been like a year and a half since we last seen them, so we were really just trying to be present. It was Lucas's first time meeting his family, first time meeting his grandparents, so we were all just really present in the moment, and I did film like like really just random clips that I may put in this vlog, but we'll see. So we did a lot of home decor shopping, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I posted on my Instagram that we were supposed to get our couch. Yes, no, we we're supposed to get our couch two days ago. So we ordered a couch from Costco, right? And Costco doesn't deliver directly. I don't know if they don't deliver at all or if it's just directly on base. So it was going to be delivered by a third party. Anyways, that third party never got our order because Costco pretty much lost our couch and Steven called them like a bajillion times and it took forever. Like the customer service was not good. So it took him to like basically just bug them and be like, hey, where's my couch? I paid for a couch and nobody knows where my couch is. Finally, they found our couch. And so hopefully by tomorrow, we'll get a call from the third party saying that they received the couch and then they can um, give us a date on when they'll deliver it. But anyways, um, we did some home decor shopping and I'm gonna show you guys what we have so far. I'm so excited to just make every little corner of this house feel like home. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you guys first what we have here. My mother-in-law actually went to the store and surprised us with this sign that says together, my favorite place to be. I guess she has the same one at home except I think it's white instead of black. I thought that was so cute and so sweet of her. So she hung that up, basically like imprinted her love on our house. And then Stephen was looking for something to hang our keys and we came across this like leather, like mail holder and it also has these um, either gold or brass rings um, to hold our keys and stuff. So I thought that was really beautiful. So we got that at Target. We have that there, we shopped for that. And then we also found this plant at Target. So I have this like inspiration picture of this entryway table and how this like, I found it on Instagram, how this girl decorated it. It was so beautiful and so I'll show you guys that in a sec. That was originally um, what we wanted to put but then we found another plant and then it actually looked better. So for now, we're putting this plant here. I think once we get our like outdoor furniture, our like little Ikea outdoor furniture, we'll put it on the table that we have outside on the front porch. But right now I think it looks cute having some greenery in our kitchen. So we got that from Target. This she got at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I believe that's from Hobby Lobby, the together sign. This is our beautiful entryway table, but I think I'm gonna show you guys a haul really quick. Um, and then I'm gonna piece it back together. Okay, so my vision for our new home is just completely different than our home was basically decorated while we were in Germany. While we were in Germany, you guys, so that was like our first time having a home together, Steven and I, and neither of us knew what our style was. Neither of us knew what we really liked. So basically our whole house is Ikea. So after, you know, a few years passed, I started to really get a feel of what mine slash our style is like. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a haul of what we got over the week. Um, like I said, I had this photo that I found on Instagram. I've, I've been following a lot of, um, Instagram accounts that are all about like home decor and doing it on a budget. And so um, I'll post the picture right here of what I'm talking about. And I really wanted to not 
like 100% replicate that because I have my own taste, but I really liked the idea of this photo. 100% wanted to buy a really big candle. There's something about really big candles that, well, they're such a statement piece. And even if there's like no more of the wax inside, it's still just like a really pretty thing to display. So we got this candle at TJ Maxx, I believe. And this is the Scent Storm. The brand is Scentsational. That's cute. It smells really good. So I knew I wanted a big white candle. So we got this at TJ Maxx. My mother-in-law also was a huge help, you guys. If you could see her house, woo, her house is just so beautiful. She also suggested if I'm ever gonna buy candles that TJ Maxx is the best place to buy it. This giant candle was only $13, by the way. And then we got this little like fake leather tray where we were going to put like our keys and stuff, but then we found that. So this may or may not stay on the entryway table for now it is, but it's something that we can bounce around the house. It goes with all the decor so it'll go anywhere. Um, I didn't really like that it said hello there handsome, but when you put stuff on top of it, you can't see it. This we got at Hobby Lobby. This one was only $13.99. And you guys, I've always loved the idea of having these baskets that you put under your entryway tables and you decorate it with a pillow and a throw blanket. This basket here we got from Target. Let me actually show you guys without things in it. We got this basket from Target. These were also a gift from my mother-in-law. We got two. I'm actually using one of the baskets to like, as like a tripod right now. So we got this basket that I wanted to put under the entryway table. And we got this. I never took this off yet. I'm going to take this off. We got this like off-white throw blanket for inside. And then this really pretty pillow. All from Home Goods. So this is from Home Goods, and the, the row, the throw blanket is from Home Goods. So now I'm gonna piece it together. We also got a lamp, but it's already plugged in. I don't want to take it out. We also got a lamp from Target. The vase and the top was sold separately, by the way. So I pieced it together. I wanted something a little bit different, something that wasn't wood or wicker, and just kind of give it some contrast. So I'm gonna take this stuff uh -huh. and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like pieced together. table looks now it's not finished yet the baskets are a little big for it but not enough to where it i can't make it work so i still think it looks good the pillow's hidden a little bit so i'm gonna just have to play with it i was just kind of rushing to put this together right now but um originally so we got this table from hobby lobby also and my mother-in-law had the idea to spray paint these handles, so they used to be the color brass, and then we spray paint, painted the black, and I think the black accent looks way better. So we have a couple black accents in our house already, like I showed you guys. Here we have a little bit of black, and we're gonna just kinda try to incorporate it just a little bit. So we spray painted these, that was super easy. I'll put a before and after uh, on the screen. And then for this plant, we kind of want to elevate either the plant or um, the candle just to give it a little height. But I also want one more thing, either just like a little vase or just another little plant, just so there can be three little things on the side. And then this might move like I said. And then this is the lamp that I was talking about. So it's not a really big lamp but I didn't want a really big lamp. I mean, the table itself really isn't that big, so I didn't want to like make it look super cluttered and like things didn't fit. Um, and then this wall, originally I wanted to put um, like a gallery wall like you saw in the photos, but then I realized just how short this table is. So instead, I'm going to put my round um, Ikea mirror, my Ikea wall mirror, and I think that would look good. Um, and then the gallery wall, I'm thinking 
of putting here in the dining room. Like all of this stuff, all of Lucas's stuff is gonna move. Um, once we get our kitchen table, it'll be where his little play mat is. And then I'm gonna do the gallery wall there. I just don't know if I wanna make the picture frames wood or black. I'm still debating on that. So we'll figure that out, but I am gonna do the photos. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the photos black and white. Um, and then we get our couch, hopefully in a week. Really crossing my fingers. And I didn't even realize that our couch came with an ottoman. So instead of the coffee table that we had back at our old house, we're either gonna try and sell it, probably gonna sell it on the Facebook page, Facebook market, and we're gonna use that ottoman, which is also nice because when Lucas starts walking, like if he were to fall or hit himself on the ottoman, it's cushioned so he wouldn't really hurt himself as opposed to like that really hard coffee table that we have. So I think that'll work better and it comes with the couch. So it'll look nicer and it'll fit in the space. But I want to put um, like a wicker tray on top. You guys see those things all the time. And yeah, so that is my vision right now. You guys let me know what you think would look better. Black frames or... Uh, wood ones because I have no idea which ones I want and I also need advice to like where's the best place to shop for frames cheap I was thinking Ikea but I don't think they're gonna have the size that I want just let me know where you think is the cheapest place to find nice quality frames because I'm gonna be buying at least 12. My Bubba is awake now. So I've been also been having to put his hair in this little like, I try to make it a man bun, but his hair is so slick that it always just pops right off. So this is what we're working with. Um, so he's awake and I have a ton of clothes to put away. By the way, little sneak peek. We are doing a dinosaur themed room. Um, nursery slash big boy room since he's gonna be a year pretty soon I think like four months away so we got some dinosaur things in the back I made an order from H&M my mother-in-law got us um, this custom dinosaur sign with his name on it uh, but that's as much as that's about as much of that that I'm gonna show you guys for now but I have this whole idea planned out. I know exactly how I want his nursery slash big boy room to look. Your little chunky papacito who's drooling like crazy because he's teething so much. But yeah, I'm going to get to cleaning. I'm going to hang a couple of his things up and then stow away the rest. Um, do some organizing, take off the tags and stuff and just really clean up in here so not everything's on the floor. Because it's been like this for a while. This kid does not need any more pants. You guys, look. Look at all the pants. There's so many pants. No more pants. And then just some things I hung up. This is actually for the fall of this year. So this is like an 18-month thing, but I wanted to buy it for him because <laughs> I was obsessed with it. So he's not going to be able to fit in that till the fall. And then this is all things that don't fit him. And then I just realized laundry in the laundry room. Oh my jeez. Well, that's not gonna be fun. 
Gotta put all this stuff away too. I hear the garage door opening. <gasps> Is your papa home? We were not expecting him. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What are you doing home so early? I'm just on lunch. I have to you, be back by like one thirty. You don't even. You don't. I thought you don't take lunches. Well, no, but they had some stuff going on, and they wanted. There's like <gasps> nine of us in the building, so they're like, go, oh, like, please go take a lunch, and then just come back. Say hi, Hi, Papa. gorgeous big baby boy. You look so stinking cute right now. <laughs> look at those little shorty shorts and the little hair. He wow. still managed to get food in his hair even when I put it up. Hi, baby. Now that Steven's here, I can show you guys a short little tour of our car or his car. We got a Hyundai Elantra. It's black. So I think it's really nice. I missed my I missed my little Nissan. My first nice real car was a 2015 Nissan, and it was also used, but it had like 300 miles on it, so it was hardly used. All right. So this is what the interior looks like. Oh, the camera really sucks when it's this dark. And then. We also have Apple Play in here, which is really super important to Steven. <laughs> huh, honey? What? I said Apple Play is like a must for you. Apple Car Play. Yeah. Can you watch out? That thing is wrapped around his neck. Steven. <sighs> God, man, don't listen. So yeah, this is what the interior looks like. I'm not the best at showing cars because I really don't know what to explain. <laughs> and the back seat. This is what the back seat looks like. Where Lucas sits, little Penelope. Yeah. No, no, she's already trying to jump in. It's really nice. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned on one of the sides, either on this side or the other side, when Steven saw it at the dealership, it actually had a whole circle that had no paint on it. So that's why he had to wait an extra week to get it. They had to, I guess, paint it or whatever. And I guess somewhere in the back seat, I can't even tell where. Um, he said he was gonna show me, but he hasn't yet. Somewhere in the back seat, there was also a giant hole in the car. So they spent a week from when he went to the dealership to when he actually got the car and they patched that hole. I need to ask him what side it was on. I don't know if it was on that side or this side, but you can't even tell because before I put the car seat in, I, I wouldn't have never been able to notice. PP, come on. Those two things got fixed, and the car was ready just two days ago, and this is his new car. But anyways, we're still drinking out of solo cups. I've really, really been thinking about, like, what kind of content I want to put in my channel, on my channel. Man, it's really loud outside because they're out there mowing, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys because um, it's kind of irritating me. Um, anyways, I really have been thinking about how I want to reinvent my channel, kind of, sort of, um, because I, I always think about it and I don't ever want to limit myself to one type of, um, niche, I guess you could say, um, and I've always been that way, that's why I, That's why I stopped making um, military spouse videos because I didn't want people to be like, oh yeah, she's just that one military spouse. And so I was kind of being closed-minded about it, but I never want to limit myself to one thing. So um, I do really enjoy making, dude, it is so loud. Maybe I'll just continue filming once they leave because it's so loud. Anyways, I'm gonna try and like hurry up and tell you guys what I'm trying to say. So, I want to basically be more than just a YouTuber mom, um, a military spouse YouTuber. Like, I, I hope you guys know the direction I'm trying to go with this because there's just so much more to me as I'm sure other people than just that like one niche. And so I've also been really trying to figure out other passions of mine because um, I just feel like YouTube now it is a passion of mine, but it's also kind of become 
my little side hustle, which took away from the hobby, the, the point of it being a hobby. Um, cause I do kind of use it to make a little bit of money and, um, also I do it because it's fun, but it's definitely become more of like a little side business than it is a hobby now. And so moving into this new house, I was thinking about how much I really, really, and I've been thinking about this for a couple years now, but I just never thought it's something that I was able, that I could do. Um, but I really like the idea of maybe buying furniture or certain pieces of furniture that I can like bring back to life. I always love seeing those before and afters of a really just beat up dresser or nightstand and then someone just giving it so much love and making it something beautiful again. Like I really want to do stuff like that. Um, and this whole this past week made, made me really realize that if it's something i really want to do then i just need to try and it's going to take practice and it's going to take trial and error but i think it'll be something that'll bring me joy and that's the whole point is that it's something that'll bring me joy and um, that way i can furnish this house with love and um, even just the simple little thing that we did with the handles and spray painting them and kind of customizing it and making it our own like even just something little like that anyone can spray paint but if you guys know what i'm trying to say i'm going to continue making videos that cater to my military subscribers but also cater to my mom's subscribers or both but i want to make videos that brings me a lot of joy so i hope you guys will stick around i'm excited for it one last thing because i swear i suck at mentioning this in my videos i just came out with my own presets and i'm really excited about it um i was working on it throughout our entire move so um, that's something else that my biggest goal, honestly, for this year was to, to just try, try new things and to not talk myself out of them. Cause in the past I'd always be like, I can't do this. I don't even know how to do this. I was so like, I didn't want to learn pretty much. I didn't want to learn anything new. I just wanted to do what I already knew. And I just realized how much that was hindering me. So I made some presets. I'll actually show you guys. I dedicated this preset pack to my time in Germany. Okay, I switched angles. So this is what the photo looks like without any filters, without um, a preset on it. Just a photo that I snapped of Lucas. And then if you scroll, I think it's this way. I'm doing this upside down. Presets, I have Germany. Let me see if I can. And then I have Heidelberg, I have Lucas, oh wait, just kidding, that one's Lucas, I have Lucas, and then I have Penelope. Sometimes with Lucas, I have to play around with, with the yellows, so if it's ever too bright, what I do is I go to colors, oops, I go to colors, I'm doing this upside down, you guys, I go to mix, and then I pick the yellow. Did I pick the yellow? Ah, I pick the yellow and I'll just change the luminance. And it adds a really big difference. So that's typically all I do for Lucas if it's ever too bright. But like a photo, I'll show you another example photo. Oh, so this one is an example. Where is it? There we go. So if I go to presets, and then I go to Lucas, oops, that's Heidelberg. It looks perfect. This is my favorite photo of Lucas and this is the preset Lucas on him, but let's look at the other ones. There's Penelope, right? I think I clicked Penelope. Heidelberg and Germany. Those are the presets that I just came out with and the meaning behind Heidelberg is Heidelberg was one of the cities in Germany that was about driving distance from us and so Lucas was born during COVID and after he was born, COVID started to, I wouldn't say die down, but the numbers started getting 
a lot lower while we were in Germany. Basically everything opened back up. Pretty much Germany was pretty much back to normal minus the masks. We still had to wear masks, but everything was open. So we decided to take Lucas to Heidelberg because it was only like 45 minutes, maybe an hour away. Um, and he was about maybe two months old. It's our only time that we traveled with him. And so I decided to dedicate um, one of my presets to that city in Germany because it brings back a lot of memories. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I missed vlogging. Uh, we went a whole week without it. And there was just so much of my life that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but let me know what, you know, what kind of videos you're interested also in seeing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and um, I will see you in the next one.